Y is for yelling. And that's today's letter of the day. Y is also for yawning. It makes me tired to yell. Let's see what else starts with the letter Y. Y is also for yarn. Yarn is really important for making things. What color is the yarn? It's yellow, just like my shirt. I'm going to show you something else that's yellow. These letters are yellow. Well, at least some of them are. What letters do you see that are yellow? The O is yellow. The C is yellow. And the G is yellow. Y is for yo-yo. Yo-yos are on a string, and when you let them go, they yo down, and then they yo back up. Hmm. Actually, maybe this is just a yo, and not a yo-yo. Hmm. But they're fun to play with. And Y is for yoga. We're going to read a story about yoga right now called Yoga for Kids. Simple Animal Poses for Any Age. It's written by Lorena V. Pajalunga, and we're going to perform some of these yoga poses. So if you want to get ready, you can do some of these yoga poses with me. It'll be lots of fun. Let's read part of the book first. Mom signed me up for yoga lessons at the zoo. The instructor told our class that yoga means union of the mind and heart, and that this ancient philosophy comes from India. During our lessons, I learned new games, how to breathe better, and how to relax, and we tried some meditation exercises. What I enjoyed most were the asanas, which were the different body positions that you must try to hold. I thought it would be strange to practice yoga at the zoo. But that was before I realized that so many yoga poses resemble the animals there. After my lessons, I go home where my cat Nino waits for me. He's a master of relaxation, so I practice yoga with him and teach him the poses that I learned at the zoo. First though, we have to get ready. So let's sit down and I'd love for you to join me and get ready and Relax your body. Our first animal pose is the lion pose, the king of the beasts. So first, sit on your heels with your hands on the ground and your fingers pointing towards you. Now close your eyes and take a deep breath. Then open your mouth wide and do a great big roar. And then stick out your tongue. Good. Next, we're gonna do the tortoise. Sit down with your feet parallel and your knees bent. Slide your hands under your legs to hold your feet and breathe out and then try to touch your forehead to your feet. When I look at Nino, the cat, he's sleeping. I can't believe it. I shiver when I think about a king cobra. To do the king cobra pose, lie on your stomach with your legs stretched out behind you. Place your hands below your shoulders. Lift up your head, your shoulders, and your back, straightening your arms completely. Can you feel your heart filling with courage? Good, now try to hiss, hiss. Then I try to touch my head with my feet but this is very hard. I can't do it, but I tried anyway. Our next pose is the camel. It's a very special position. Let's kneel and rest your feet on the floor and touch your ankles. Now, you can use your heels if you want to. Push your hips forward as far as you can and put your head back. Do I look like a camel? Hmm. Our next pose is a dog. 
Even though we didn't see a dog at the zoo, we did see wolves. First, make an upside down V shape with your body. Put your hands in front of you, aligned with your head, neck, and back. My legs are together and my heels are on the floor. And then push your hips up. Uh, I need to practice that one more. Next, we're gonna be a tiger. Get onto all fours and breathe out as you bring your knee up to your forehead, curving your back. Then, without putting your leg back down, hold it out behind me. Then turn your head and growl. Good. Now, repeat with your other leg on the other side. So breathe out as you bring your knee up to your forehead, curving your back. And then, without putting your leg back down, hold it behind me. Yeah, stretch it out. Good. Don't forget to turn your head and growl. Excellent. Our next pose is the crocodile. It's a good resting pose. Lying on my stomach, I place my hands on top of each other and rest my head on them. You can do that too. Your feet should be slightly apart and have your heels face inward. Doesn't this feel good? Let's take a moment here and rest. All right, now we're going to be cats, Nino's favorite. So go on all fours and round and arch your back. See how my back's arched? Yeah, cats do it better than I do, but it's still fun to try. Next, let's stand up to be different kinds of birds. First, we're gonna be seagulls. Lean forward a little bit and put your arms out like a bird that's gliding through the air to land on a rock. Close your eyes and feel the cold air rushing against you as you're gliding like a bird through the air. <sighs> Speaking of birds, did you know that an eagle has a wingspan of 10 feet? Anyhow, let's be an eagle. Stand on your left foot and wrap your right leg around your left one, trying to hook your right foot behind your left knee. Then use your arms to form the eagle's beak. Your left arm goes in front of you, slightly bent, and then your right arm goes under the left one until your hands touch. Good job. Try it with the other leg now. So. Move your left leg around your right leg, trying to hook your left foot behind your right knee. And then do that same thing with your arms to form the beak. And hold that pose. Next, we're going to be flamingos. Open your arms and bend forward. Try to balance on one leg. How long can you stay like this? Well, my yoga instructor taught me something that was a secret. Stare at a point in front of you and it can help you keep your balance. Good job. Now, try it with your other foot. So stand on one leg, bend forward and open your arms. Don't forget to be looking at a point in front of you so you can have good balance. Great job. Whatever you do, don't fall. Oops. Got to meet so many animals doing yoga. We saw the brave lion, the slow tortoise, the strong cobra, the funny camel, the friendly dog, the noble tiger, the great crocodile, the knowing cat, the soaring seagull, the elegant eagle, and the graceful flamingo. I hope you had fun doing those yoga poses with me. As you can see, I'm practicing too. I'm learning how to be good at yoga and it takes lots of practice. And I'm so happy that you joined me to practice a little bit today for the letter Y episode of the ABCs with Mr. Steve. We'll see you next week for the letter Z. Bye.